Good morning, folks. Grab some hot cocoa for this cold winter's day and listen to an oddly calm scammer having yet another corrupt bank clerk try to steal the money being sent by his ever-loyal Mugu. Yup, this small boy has been through this process once before already in Chopped, Episode 4. This guy's patience is utterly astounding. Note that my microphone didn't pick up my vocals because my privacy settings were not correctly set. As a result, this video begins from the moment I pass the phone to the clerk. Hello? 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 Mr. Mike? Mr. Hello? Mike? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Mike, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I've been trying to reach you. I don't know what is wrong. Probably your network or my, I don't know which one is actually uh, misbehaving. Did you hear what I said, yeah. Mr. Mike? I didn't get you. Oh. So, uh, uh, you didn't get me. I didn't get you. All right. Uh, uh, let me explain myself. I said that I saw the printout email by me, by Mr. Dickinson. Did, do you understand that? Yeah. And I said that I understand. I've been working here for the past five years. So when I see an email, of my client, I understand what is going on. So I've seen the email, a part of it, I understand what is going on. He printed it out. So what I'm saying is that I'll, I know it's scamming. I know you're trying to scam Mr. Dickinson, but I don't care. I don't care about that. All I care about is a cut of the money. That's all. I'm a black man, I have nothing to do with the white man. I don't care whether they are scammed or not. Listen, I, I don't understand I you. Resolve. I've done this. I've done this several times. Okay, I've done this several times. Could you please give the phone back to Dixon? I don't want to go Mr. over this Mike, again. Listen. Mr. Mike, I don't listen, need your listen, explanation. Listen. Mr. Mike, give come the on the phone now. back to Dixon. Listen, I, I, I've been doing this for the past five years. I understand. I know you. I have friends like you. So I understand what is going on. Come on. Just give me a portion. Mm -hmm. Let's send the remaining to you. That's all. This is not this is not my first time going to this. If you if you want if you don't want if you want to be on the safe side, you give the phone back to Dixon. Okay? I, I don't got nothing to lose. I don't got nothing to lose. Oh, you me. got nothing to lose? Okay, you got nothing to lose because you have nothing to send, right? Is that why you're saying that? You see, even if what? you receive just just four hundred dollars, something is a game. Don't you think so? It's a game. So just give me sorry, I don't, any, I don't, I don't portion, think... any amount sorry. that you want to give me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. So please Mr. hand Mike. the phone back to Dixon. He's, he's outside now. He went to the restaurant. Mr. Mike, before he comes back, let's just conclude this once and for all. So that by, by the time he comes back, I'll have sent it to you and I'll have given you the mail, the transfer number, please. Just mention any person that you want to give out of the money. That's all. And I'll send the remaining to you. You both know what is going on here. You know, I know. I've been doing this for the past five years. I have friends like you. Back home, I have to do At this point, the scammer hung up, and of course, we couldn't raise him again. Well, that's it, folks. Have a nice day, and try to stay warm.